Hey guys, I'm Common Ramen here. Um, today we're gonna take a look at a game called Quarriers, but we're gonna look at the Quultimate Quidition. Um, I saw a lot of uh, questions online about what was in the uh, Quultimate Quidition, um, which if you know anything about Quarriers, the whole QU, QU thing is, they just do it on everything. Uh, it's the Ultimate Edition. So we're gonna take a look at what's inside the box, take a look at the rules and whatnot. Um, for those of you who don't know, Quarriers was the predecessor to uh, Dice... What was the name of that? Dice Masters. Dice Masters. So, um, if you did play D&D Dice Masters, or Marvel Dice Masters, or DC Dice Masters, or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Dice Masters, uh, this was the predecessor to that game. Um, there's still some stuff that they borrowed from this game, uh, especially in the, in the form of the uh, faces on the dice. Um, and quite a few mechanics from Quarriers, but Quarriers is actually a different game. Um, it, it, it's won differently, and um, the creatures in Dice Master, uh, and actually for that matter the combat in Dice Masters, uh, follows uh, Magic the Gathering more closely in the sense of what you're going to see and... Or as far as uh, blocking, attacking, and uh, damage dealing, and so on and so forth. Even uh, keyword effects um, are more, more closely akin to uh, Magic the Gathering. Whereas, Quarriers is a little bit different. Quarriers, you want your monsters to last um, at least one turn. At least till the beginning of your next turn, so that you can score them. Um, so there, there's quite a few differences in the game. So we're going to take a look at the inside of the box right now. First thing you're going to see right here is they provide you with a with the bags that you're going to need um, for a four-player game. So we're just going to move that right over. We have ourselves a little insert. You'll notice the rules aren't in here. I've taken them out for now. Um, this little insert here actually has two levels. So I'm going to go ahead and free that insert from the... Free the first part of the insert, the top off of this real quick. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our first set of dice. So what you can see here... It's just all the different dice that are available. Okay. Uh, very reminiscent of Dice Masters, despite the fact that this was obviously first. Okay, we're going to take this second level off here real quick so we can take a look at the next level down. So you'll see right here we got the card trays for... Dice Masters. Underneath the card trays is actually space for more dice, so we're just going to quickly look at these different dice here. I'm not showing a lot of the faces. I'll um, show you more of the information on the faces via the cards, um, just so you can get an idea of how many dice we're looking at. All of the dice that you're seeing in here are from this edition. Um, I did not add any other dice to this. Um, so when you're looking at it, it's not just a big storage solution. It actually comes with all of these dice. Okay, so we're going to take a look at some of the cards. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you the inside right here. Right underneath the cards is another tray for some more dice and um, some cubes for keeping track of things. Okay, there is nothing under the insert. However, when you receive the game, none of the dice are organized like this. You will find them underneath the tray in uh, plastic baggies, and you have to sort them and uh, put them into the tray yourself. Um, so when you first get it, make sure to look under your tray for all your dice. Okay, so what is in Quarrier's Quiltimate Qu Quidition? <laughs> um, it's actually everything. So I'm going to show you the rule book here. So this is our rule book for Quarriers. This is the core rule book, okay? So um, there is some editing done to it from the original core rule book. Um, in this one, uh, there's a lot of unnecessary, unnecessary information that's just removed. Um, but it shows you contents of the core game. It shows you the setup. Then as we go into it, um, it goes into the explanation of how the game works. Which isn't vastly different from that of Dice Masters as far as how we how the uh, active pool, ready pool, and so on and so forth are, are set up. And then as you dive deeper, which we will take a look at cards, um, you can see some of the card some of the card iconography. 
Um, the red um, Comic Sans right here is kind of like a succinct way of explaining what all of this is or sometimes shows educational information like for instance what equidity is um, and how it, rep how it uh, relates to a quid. Um, so there's all of that. Yeah, we don't want to go into huge detail here because it's going to take up some time. But just know that it's supposed to be more succinct in what is going on here. Um, it does some fringe cases right on this page. And then the end of the rules right here. And a rules summary right there. So what else is in this? Actually, everything. Um, the Courier's Quiltimate Quidition comes with the core set and every expansion, including a standalone expansion that um, you could play by, your, by itself. So we got Courier's Rise of the Demons, and then we'll show that it has its rules really quickly explained here. And then we have Courier's Quarmageddon. As you can see, we got the rules going here. Courier's uh, Quest of the Cladiator. And the rules here. Uh, Courier's Quartifacts. Got some uh, extra text here for Courier's Quartifacts. Courier's Light versus Dark. So Courier's Light vs. Dark, if I remember correctly, and let me just double check here. Yeah, Courier's Light vs. Dark is a standalone game. So you can play Courier's Light vs. Dark without uh, the core set. And this is where the large quiddity dice come in, uh, which is underneath the card tray. And that is the Quarrier's Quultimate Edition rulebook. So, essentially what you're getting here is you're getting everything. Um, let me show you some of these cards, because I did promise we'd go over some of these. So right here, you can see the cost of the card. You can see how many points it's worth if you score it. Um, this is the name of it. It's abilities. Um, these little asterisk abilities will only happen if you roll those on the uh, dice itself otherwise you don't you just ignore them and you can see how it is set up exactly like dice masters and if you don't play dice masters um, just know that this is exactly the same setup um, down here you're gonna see all the facings that you'll find on your dice it shows all six facings so that you know what your potential is when you roll. And as you can see here, the cards that you're looking at are all promo cards. So this didn't just come with all of the expansions, it also came with all of the promos. So if you are a hardcore Quarriers fan, and you already have all kinds of expansions or all of the expansions, and you've picked up all the promos, you probably don't want to pick this up because this is nothing new. Everything in here is just a uh, one box solution for the entirety of what Quarriers is. Now, if you're like me and you are very curious as to what Quarriers was or how it differs from um, uh, Dice Masters, then, and, and, and more importantly, you wanted to play this game uh, anyway, this is actually the perfect uh, way to pick it up because you get everything you need here, so you can kind of just have as much flavor as you want to have. Um,
So I'm just going to go through some of these creatures really quickly. I don't want to spend too much time on those because uh, a lot of them are the same, like Lesser Archangel, Archangel, Strong Archangel, Mighty Archangel, Greater Archangel, all the same um, dice, just different abilities right in here um, and different uh, costs and glory. Um, so this is one thing that, that differs a little bit from uh, Dice Masters and Dice Masters is about three iterations of each hero. Um, here it can get up to six, <laughs> uh, not including promos. And you can see here, like, another set of Quizlebubs. There's going to be a lot of play on the QU. Quartz Golem, Quizlebub, Devotee of the Quarry. Sorry, I'm trying to get that on the camera. Um, so basically, if you're interested in the game, uh, you've never actually played it or you played it with a friend, um, but you don't actually own anything from Quarriers yourself, this is a great way to get yourself into it. Um, it does retail for about $75, um, which seems like a lot, but if you consider the fact that it has all of the expansions, all of the promos, and um, even has a standalone uh, expansion that doesn't necessarily need to be mixed, you're actually getting quite a quite a bit of value out of it, um, especially considering the game itself has won several awards. And like I said, I've read the rules. Um, there are some differences in uh, between this game and Dice Masters. Um, in Dice Masters, once you put them in your, in your ready area, um, they stay there until they are knocked out um, by opponent's attacks, uh, and then they'll just simply go to, I believe, the used area. Um, until you eventually uh, put them back in your bag and try and draw them again. Uh, in this game, there's some similarities in that your creatures, when they get knocked out of the red area, will go into, I believe, the used area as well. Um, but the major difference here is that anything that is still in your red area by the beginning of your next turn is scored for its glory. And I believe we just put the dice back on the card um, because I remember that one of the ways to lose this game is to have multiple cards with no dice left on them. Um, and I think there's, what, f yeah, it looks like there's five dice of each type, except one that I found that had six, but I'm not sure if that's just a fluke um, or if that was meant to be. Um, but yeah, one of the win condition or one of the uh, game end conditions is running out of dice on cards, and that triggers the end game which can, um, which basically means at that point, whoever has the most glory wins the game. So in Dice Masters, um, you actually have a life pool, uh, very much like magic. I believe it's a 20 point life pool, just like magic. Um, and your, your goal is to bring your opponent down to zero. Whereas here you're just trying to get the most, uh, glory. And if you hit a certain amount of glory, then you win the game. So the rest, uh, these are spells, not the rest of these, but these sets of cards with the white borders are spells. And they're just uh, different greater versions and or lesser versions of each spell. And you can see how we have quite a bit to go from, especially considering uh, during any given setup you're really only going to have about 13, I think it's only 13, yeah, 13 cards uh, in play. So if you consider how big these stacks are, you can have quite a, a different game every single time, especially considering we have so many uh, options here. So again, if you're into the game, you really liked it, um, and you don't have any of it, this is a chance to get everything all at once. Um, I don't know how expensive it is to purchase it uh, separately, um, but definitely this is a cool way to kind of just have it all. Um, of course, there's no reason you have to do something like that. These are the Quartifacts. Uh, as you can see, same thing where we have three different cards here, sometimes four, and it's just uh, different versions of the Quartifacts. Yep, there's another one of those. So we have three different Quartifacts. Or quests, I guess. My bad, those are quests. What are these? These are basics. So these are something that you uh, 
every game has to have a certain amount of basics. I think there are three basics that you're supposed to have at the very beginning of the game. And you can see just different uh, versions of some of these basics. And then the remaining creatures... Now the questions that I saw online were basically along the lines of what do you get when you get Quultimate Quidition, so to just put it to rest, you get everything. Everything that was ever Quarriers is in Quultimate Quidition. So that is Quarriers Quultimate Quidition. Uh, basically, like I said, it's an everything box, has all the dice for you, all the cards, all the creatures, all the promos, um, and a much more uh, succinct rulebook. Sorry about the fingers there. Um, so you could play that... Uh, with as much variety as the game has to offer. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And always looking forward to your comments. Uh, unfortunately, like I've said before, any negative comments I will simply just be removing. Um, so if you have anything negative to say, just keep it to yourself. Um, we're all trying to work hard out here. Um, my Patreon. Um, my, I, I am working on a Patreon. So if you feel... Um, I don't know, inclined to support me uh, so that I can bring more of this content uh, more regularly to you, uh, please consider backing me on Patreon. Uh, I will get the link up as soon as I finish up the page. Uh, there's still some sprucing up I'd like to do. Uh, and until next time, guys, peace.